Friends, I'm Lauren Gardner, and welcome to this edition of Quick Pitch, presented by Blue Emu. Well, it only seems appropriate. An instant classic between the A's and the Red Sox that featured yet another game-saving play at the plate. To Oakland, we go. Well, apparently, 11 is the magic number for the Brew Crew. On Saturday, the Brewers scored 11 runs to extend their winning streak to, you guessed it, 11. They also won 30 of their last 40 games, a stretch that dates back to the acquisition of Willie Adamas in late May. Now to D.C. for the Dodgers and the Nets. His opener by posting their highest run total since June ninth. Now was a triumph return there for Brandon Nimmo who went three for six in his first game back from a hand injury. The 28 year old is batting 343 from the leadoff spot this season compared to a 232 average by all other Mets leadoff hitters. Up next it's the Padres and Sandy Alcantara was keeping it 100 on Saturday. 100 miles per hour that is. Now the Marlins righty hit triple digits on the radar gun 20 times against the Braves. In doing so, he joined Jacob DeGrom. And that brings us to our QP trivia question. Tony La Russa leads all active managers with 2,777 career wins. Now, with that in mind, we want to know who are the two active managers behind La Russa and career wins. Go ahead. Think about it. We'll have the Before the break, we asked you to name the two active managers who are directly behind Tony La Russa in career wins. It's Dusty Baker and Terry Francona. We're going head to head this weekend in Cleveland. That dude is on fire. The emergence of Eric Haas has been one of the most unlikely stories of the 2021 season. Less than two years after being designated for assignment by Cleveland, the 28-year-old has found a home with the Tribe's division rivals. He has four multi-homer games this year, just one shy of tying Kyle Schwarber for the MLB lead. And Schwarber's former team was in Cincy to take on the round. Willis Garcia is leading all rookies in nearly every major offensive category this season, adding to his RBI total with two more on Saturday. The Rangers rookie also hit his 30th extra base hit, which leads the group. Well, still to come, is anyone having more fun than Salvador Perez was named to the All-Star team on Thursday? And for good reason. Ten years into his big league career, the veteran backstop has shown no signs of slowing down. He's appeared in all 82 games for KC and leads all catchers in most offensive categories. Now it's time now for the Capital One Premier Play. Good time to be a Brewers fan, and even if you don't root for them on the field, you can definitely root for these guys off of it, as Christian Yelich made this Bucks fans day by sending over a signed bat the day after the youngster made this great catch, after which there was a slight miscommunication. Yelly went in for the high five. Well, our guy who also happens to be named Christian had a ball in Sharpie in hand saying you really wanted the autograph from the MVP. Yelly obviously did him one better and with the help of the Pittsburgh TV and equipment crew, Yelich and the Brewers won the day again. Well, that does it for this edition of QP. For our great crew here at MLB Network, I'm Lauren Gardner saying happy fourth.